Saturday night, we finally get some meter. Low through is serious, guys. Lower in frequencies. It just dropped immediately. This Saturday night, we finally get some meter. Ready, set, go. Four sundown subs that we have in here in the blow through. Man, we're actually gonna see what this does with numbers, guys. Whether it be burping, doing port wars, or just doing a quick 30 second music play. I already found the perfect song that we will be using. So this is the song that I actually will be doing. And here in a little bit, we're gonna be playing this, playing the Silverado on that song to let you guys see, you know, let me know what you guys think before I get in there because we're all in this together, guys. We're all one, we're all one gang, man, because this is a big, big, big day. I am still on my factory alternator, but I actually have the big three upgraded on it. I do have a power wire ran from the battery to the alternator. I do have a wire from the ground running to the alternator. I have the alternator ran to a frame ground, and I have the alternator ran to another body ground as well too. Then I actually do have the battery going down to the frame, and then I do have the battery going onto a body ground. The only thing that I feel that I am lacking is a power and ground from the alternator running all the way to the back. I do have four baby batteries back there in the back underneath all the panels and the stunt wall stuff um, that are doing some major work. Uh, this is where all the bass comes out through. Man, that blow through is serious, guys. MD5000.1. You have the reducers, if that's what you call them, uh, with the dual zero gauge inputs on it. So I got all the, the power that I need. I have my bass doubler, which pretty much is just like an epicenter. It really doesn't do nothing. Just, you know, if I'm listening to like some Beach Boys or something um, and I hit the knob on it, it will definitely change the bass frequency. Right here, is my audio control matrix this is a line driver um, I pretty much just put it on my subs just in case um, the output on my EQ wasn't getting enough voltage um, I call this the don't mess with me knob uh, because if I turn this guy up man it's definitely definitely gonna make definitely gonna make the bass a lot louder but I pretty much know how to adjust it um, to where you know it sounds good and it's not overloading the subs and we can get some serious bass from it I don't know if you guys can see the gains right there this amp is probably turned up a little bit halfway um, so I'm not actually getting the full juice from it but I just found its sweet spot to play without clipping or that light clip light coming on while I'm actually doing the metering itself I will be turning up the sub volume EQ knob but once I feel that it's starting to get closer to the peak that I know and it's getting closer to the last seconds of metering I am gonna you know turn this guy up a little bit more and turn up this knob up just a little bit just to get the high potential of it um, in the last seconds of the metering man drop down in the comments if you guys know any good bass songs that I should use when I'm metering or any tips or tricks or anything that you guys want to let me know well, this is the song that I actually will be doing when I meter my truck this actually just plays um, the test tones for a long period of time and I know when you meter it just has to have like the constant flow of that frequency in order to get the numbers you don't want it to play some high frequency let it drop down to the lows we want the highest frequency possible playing at high volume so we can get that crazy number that we are looking for what do you think the truck's gonna meter guys so with the window being down we actually got to start the song at 50 seconds so we can hit our peak at a minute and nine and so I'm actually gonna put the timer on the phone and just so I can get a better idea of what's going on and we're gonna measure 30 seconds to see if that's where we want to be at with the test tones I don't know if you guys noticed, but at a certain time, once it actually started going lower in frequencies with the window down, it just dropped immediately versus that high bass. So that song at 109, it is perfect for what we're doing. Let's go ahead and test it with the window up with you guys inside here. The windows are up, man. It is very, very hot. Let's turn this at a little bit right here. Not Let's not overdo it. Um, the EQ, I'm actually just gonna turn it up just a little bit over halfway um, we have our stopwatch right there song it is ready at 27 seconds
I think we're pretty much ready. Uh, we're gonna leave it in the, in the hands of the blow through and the sundown subs and the box to do uh, whatever numbers they come out to be. If we walk away with something, that'd be awesome. If not, um, it's gonna be some fire content for you guys. Uh, we get to meet some new people. We get to enjoy some badass car audio builds. That's our environment. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are excited like I am, but definitely if you're in the St. Pete area, man, stop by, check out the Silverado build, check out the rest of the builds, and have a good time. And with that being said, your boy's going to get ready, I'm going to do a little bit more testing, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.